Hey, it's Matt from gravityforms.com. Today we are embarking on a mini series of MailChimp tutorial videos, two minutes each, roughly. We're gonna start with a quick overview of MailChimp and setting it up on your Gravity Forms WordPress powered website, mailchimp.com slash pricing page. You can see the pricing for a lot of us. We use MailChimp because it is user friendly and free. You can start for free for up to 500 contacts and 1000 emails per month. I already have a MailChimp account set up. I didn't walk you through that part. It's fairly self explanatory. You sign up like many other services, put in your information and you land on the dashboard. The one thing that you will need to set up and it does prompt you along the way is to set up a audience. And under the audience dashboard, we have one audience here. It's called imported. And that's the terminology that I used. I'm just using that as a placeholder audience. But having an audience set up before connecting up your gravity forms form is, is a good thing to do. Not super required, but it does make life a little bit easier. We go into our WordPress site and we open up our add-ons, scroll down till we find MailChimp, install, activate plugin, and then we will click on the settings link. Connecting up to MailChimp, it'll prompt you to enter in your information. You'll allow it to connect to your WordPress website, and you will see that you are connected to MailChimp. If we double check, our integrations and manage our integrations on the MailChimp side, you'll see Gravity Forms is connected. That is the quickest way to install and activate MailChimp and Gravity Forms. We're back for part two of our MailChimp and Gravity Forms series. This time we're gonna look at our most minimal things we need to set up in order to send emails from our Gravity Form form to MailChimp. Let me just start first with the audiences. This is something that you set up when you first configured uh, MailChimp. If you're not intending to have a very large list or if you're simply on the free plan, you can only make one uh, audience and that's what you will tie all of your emails into. Think of audiences not as segments because you can then segment audiences down and tag them and all this other stuff, but think of your audience as organizations, right? There's a lot of things that you can do with segments. That's why they limit them to for the free plan because if you're a bigger business you have multiple email audiences and for different departments of your large organization and that's why these audiences exist so just know that you have only one for free and that's going to come into play when we set up our most basic contact form with gravity forms okay we have a form here we're going to click on edit at minimum, we need just an email field. That email field will get sent over to our MailChimp account. That's how you build your MailChimp email list, of course. You can add other fields here. We're gonna do that in other videos. But at minimum, we need that email field to be set up on your Gravity Form. You don't do any of the configuration here. We will go to Settings, MailChimp, and then set up a feed, a MailChimp feed, and naming it is just for your own bookkeeping, just so you know what this is for, doesn't really matter, and then you can select your default audience, and that default audience will then hold all of this information. We would now select our email field, aptly named email. As you can see, it is the most minimum requ required field there. This other stuff, we're gonna get to in another video, but now we will just hit save settings, and moving forward, anyone who submits their email on this basic gravity form that we have set up, that data will then be passed to our MailChimp account. We're back for part three of our MailChimp series. Now we're going to take our email form and put it on a subscribe page. This will be the foundation for a lot of other lessons throughout this series of videos. So we've already connected up our MailChimp account. We've mapped the email field to our MailChimp account. And now let's get this whole form, which consists of one field onto a page. So we're going to click on embed inside of the gravity form form editor. We're going to create a new page. We're going to call it subscribe. And once we click create, it's going to create that page in WordPress. The form is already on our page. It looks exactly like it's going to look in the front end as it does here in the editor. So we will click on the gravity form block 
and just a few things that I normally do. Uh, it really depends on you know how you've configured your forms, what other content supports that form on the page. I generally uncheck the form title and the form description because I'm probably going to build other content around the form. And that's just the way that I approach it. Your, you know, your mileage may vary. So I just shut those two things off. I'm going to hit publish and we'll view the page. Things won't look all that different, except for you'll see the header and the footer of this temporary website. And there is the form embedded on the page. Once the user puts in their email address, they will be subscribed to our newsletter. As I mentioned, I like to have a dedicated subscribe page if I'm someone who's building out an email list, specifically using MailChimp, and I can direct a lot of call to actions to that slash subscribe page throughout my marketing. And that's in a blog, in a podcast, in a YouTube video, in person, wherever you're telling people, hey, you wanna jump on that newsletter to stay informed, go to mydomain.com slash subscribe. So very simple video today. This is just embedding that form on a subscribe page, and we'll see you in the next series of videos. In this video, we're going to add a first and last name field to our form and then modify the confirmation message uh, so that we can just improve the experience of signing up to our newsletter at MailChimp uh, a little bit better for our visitors to our WordPress and Gravity forms. So let's go ahead and edit our newsletter sign up. As you've seen in the rest of the videos up until this point, just very simple, grabbing the email, sending it off to MailChimp when somebody joins our newsletter. We can now just extend that just a little bit, bring in the name field first and last that's it just not going to touch anything else just going to hit save on this form i think one of the benefits of adding a first and last name is that you can personalize the emails that you end up sending from mailchimp right using uh the first name in an email sort of personalizing things a little bit more it's a benefit to your email communication the next thing we'll do is modify the confirmation. so the confirmation is something that appears right after the user uh, enters the form We'll click on edit. We'll remove this default message by pasting in something else that says, thanks for subscribing to our newsletter. Just a little touch from removing the default message that Gravity Form set up, which is basically for a contact form. Like, hey, thanks for contacting us. In this case, you're signing up to a newsletter. You wanna craft that message to be a little bit more in line with that action that the person took. You can also link this out to a social media account or add more here, like go check out our about page or something like that. Totally up to you your mileage may vary. So what we did in an earlier video is set up our subscribe page. So we'll just take a look at that. Now you can see first and last name fields are here. We'll add in that. Submit this form. Even though I spelled gravity forms wrong there, it doesn't matter. I just want to take a look at the thanks for subscribing to our newsletter. That's the confirmation message that we modified. So that's pretty much it for this video. We added the first and last name. We modified the confirmation message. I'll see you in the next part of our gravity forms and MailChimp series. Welcome back to our Gravity Forms and MailChimp series. This is a big one. I'm gonna to try to get this all in within two minutes. There is something known as segments in MailChimp. And with segments, we can create a segment and build a segment of email subscribers based on tags. So you can see here, tags, contact is tagged by, and right now we only have this one, It's or two actually, imported and newsletter sign up. And if we go to our Gravity Form, you can see I've added two fields here. I've added a multiple choice, what kind of WordPress user are you? And I've added this hidden field. And what we can do with other fields is pass this information over to MailChimp as a tag. So if a user, before they sign up to our newsletter, has to declare what kind of WordPress user are there, beginner, intermediate, or advanced, we can tailor our MailChimp uh, emails that go out based on our segments, which are built from tags. So I can build a segment of beginner subscribers, advanced subscribers, and intermediate subscribers. And then I can tailor my newsletter content to those particular segments or those audiences, if you will. But how do we send that data over so that we can build those segments? Well, like I said, I've added these two fields. Let's go to settings and MailChimp. Let's leave this. <clears throat> and in our MailChimp feed, we'll go back to 
that tag field that we set up earlier. Remember, we have we had newsletters sign up before. That's how we got this newsletter sign up tag here. It's saying, oh, there's a newsletter sign up tag, but we can just make this more dynamic. So we can get rid of this, bring in a merge tag, and assign this tag to what kind of WordPress user are you? And that'll pick for the beginner, intermediate, and advanced. As people fill out this form, it's starting to help build those segments in the back end. If you don't want somebody to add something in and you want to make it a little bit more streamlined, you can select that hidden field. That way there's no other choice for somebody to select when they're building out a form. Less is more on optimizing forms. So this is just a in quick introduction to passing tags to build segments in MailChimp. Okay, as we wrap up our Gravity Forms and MailChimp series, I want to talk about styling our form, making it look a little bit better. We're going to add a group. This is something that you would do as good practice when um, designing some page layouts inside WordPress. We're going to put the Gravity Form block inside of this group. And then the next thing I'm going to do is rename this group just for housekeeping sake. So I'm going to say newsletter call to action. And then we'll just do some light styling because we are trying to keep this under two minutes. So with the group selected, we'll change the background. We'll add a little bit of margin and padding. And we will add in a little bit of a border. So we'll go black, two. Then we'll select our gravity form, and gravity form has what's known as the orbital theme or the orbital theme settings. And just to keep this really easy and really simple, we're gonna bump up the font size to 18, make it a little bit uh, clearer to see, and change the background color uh, of the button, of the submit button, and we'll save it as that. So now our form is just got a little bit, has just got a little bit more style and emphasis on the input fields. Great for when somebody's on mobile and obviously it totally depends on your theme. One of the cool things you can do uh, since you're placing this into a group is adding this to a WordPress pattern. We'll call this newsletter. We'll add this. And that way, whenever we want to add a pattern, under our patterns, we'd have our newsletter. We can simply just click this. And it'll drop in our newsletter styled and everything right in the content that we're working with across our WordPress website. So saving that as a reusable pattern. Very nice touch for using Gravity Forms and MailChimp as your newsletter call to action block. As we wrap up our MailChimp and Gravity Form series, I just wanted to let you know that it's not just about building newsletters with MailChimp. Gravity SMTP is a new product by the folks here at Gravity, and it's available in your elite license, nonprofit license, and if you have a legacy developer license plan. Gravity SMTP helps you send those WordPress emails from your WordPress install to the inboxes of, well, transactional emails. It can be notification emails, it can be receipt emails of somebody's if you're using gravity forms for donations or selling things with gravity forms membership registrations etc the list goes on this is a pretty big topic and i'm going to try to condense it as quickly as possible Inside of Gravity SMTP, we have many platforms that we integrate with, but MailChimp is certainly one of them. Using their product called Mandrill, you can create a free account on Mandrill, which is associated to your MailChimp account. Grab an API key and set up that connection right here in Gravity SMTP. It's a lot involved, takes a little bit of time. You have to also do some DNS work. So I can't cover that all in this little bootcamp style video, but I will show you that inside your MailChimp account under the tr automation section, in transactional email, you can start for free. It is a paid service. They give you up to 500 emails used for your uh, for your Mandrill connection. And then when you open up the Mandrill site, it'll help you walk through setting up some of the DNS records that you need to do to verify that the emails leaving your Mandrill account are also tied to your WordPress website. So there's a bit of a configuration here. Once you do have it set up, though, if you're also using MailChimp for your marketing material, and let's say you're running some kind of of digital e-commerce store with Gravity Forms, donation site for a nonprofit, membership sign-up form with Gravity Forms. Those transactional emails are very important, and you can run them both from your MailChimp account, that is your marketing and your transactional email. So I wanted to let you know that that is available, available using Gravity SMTP. You can download it directly in your Gravity Form dashboard. Check it out. Thanks for watching this series of Gravity Forms and MailChimp.